Remember, set, pull back, and hold it. Ooh, nice. There it is. <laughs> you on? Oh, yeah. There you go. Nice. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of CEO Fishing. All right, so today was a super hot day. It was muggy, it was hot, it was raining, it was hot, it was raining. I mean, that's just Florida weather for you. It's time to announce the trivia winner from the last video. And that person's also the winner of the lures and the Nines Optic keychain that I'm giving away. So uh, congrats to... Stacy. Stacy, you got all the questions right. And this is gonna be another trivia question at the end of this video, so stay tuned. And uh, yeah, enjoy the video. Peace. That was... The weather has been terrible for the past couple weeks. We haven't gotten a chance to go fishing as much as we wanted to go. Today is kind of clear for the morning. Um, we got about two hours to try and catch some fish, so we decided to try and get Lexi on her personal best. Peacock bass. That's right, we're gonna try to get her on a peacock bass. Today, Lexi's just gonna be using some, uh, some live shiners. Let's see, in here. Right there, live shiners. Peacock bass love these, it's like like candy, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, so basically when you hook a shiner, you just want to hook it from the bottom lip to the top lip, just like that, and uh, we'll toss it out. We walk up and down the bank sight fishing for these fish. Um, sometimes they'll sit underneath these columns here, so toss it right over there. Leave the belt open for now. They like that rock sometimes. Definitely a lot of uh, murkiness in the water here. And the current is ripping, so it seems like they have the, uh, the oh. spillway open. You see one? I see something just chomped on it. Okay, reel up. Reel up. Set it, set it. There it is. Oh, Ooh, good, 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 good. Nice. Keep the rod tight. Oh man. What you got? I don't know. Nice. A large mouth? I don't think so. Here. Lift the rod. Oh, a peacock. Lift rod. Whoa. Uh-oh, uh-oh. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. He's gonna... It's all right, you're good. Look at that rod well, bend. You're fine. Pull back and reel down. Pull back and reel down. Very nice peacock bass. All right, reel all the way down and flip him up. Oh, he's heavy. You ready? And flip. Perfect. <laughs> All the way up, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. Right there, good. Nice. That is a nice peacock bass, Lex. Yeah. Good job, high five. Just kidding. Oh, you got me. Oh, that's pretty. Look, guys, look at this fish. I haven't caught one in so long. That is getting closer to your uh, personal best, but not yeah. quite there. But that is a beautiful fish. Look at the tail. Look at the colors on these things. Look. The spots, every peacock bass has a different pattern. This is a nice young male. You can tell he's a male because it's got a little small hump. It's not a big hump, but there's a small hump right there. Okay, let's get him unhooked and back in the water, okay? All right. Awesome fish, Lex, good job. Hey, yeah. first cast, first fish. Well, second cast, first fish. Yeah. Ready? All right, let's let him go. Ow, he's biting He's on biting me. you. That Ow. means he's ready. Ow. Ow, my thumb is not coming out. Your oh. thumb's coming out. All right, ready? Three, two, one, in the water. Good job. Little bass thumb? Yeah. Yeah, that's good luck. That means you're gonna get a bigger fish. <laughs> All right, so Lexi, you did really good landing that fish, but one thing, you see how you're leaning over really far? Yeah. And you're holding the rod down? Okay, mm -hmm. what you really wanna do is stand a little more upright. Okay. And pull the rod up, the rod tip up, and then when the line's tight, you reel down as you drop the rod back down. When you get to the bottom, you stop reeling and you pull back up without reeling. 
okay? okay. So you're gonna pull the, the fish back up, it gets him closer, and then you reel down, keeping tension on the line. Okay. If you put the rod too fast, the line will whip and the hook can actually come right out of their mouth. Okay. So you always wanna make sure the line stays tight because if the line does not stay tight, there's a good chance that the fish will spit that hook and you're gonna have to cast again and start all over. Lose a fish, not on my watch. So reel down, pull up, reel down, pull up. Okay. Stay tight. Let's use, fine, use them. Yep. All right, now you remember, from the bottom lip to the top, to the top lip. Just pop it through. Gotta watch out for them crocodiles. Real? Oh. Okay. You on? Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, drag. Nice. I didn't even notice. Yep, I thought something hit. Okay, how do, where do I put them? Bring them over here. Over here to the edge. One. Booyah. Woo. Ooh, nice. Stay there, buddy. Female. Another. Or male? Nope. This is another male. You can tell by that knot on his head. Yeah. Come on, buddy. Sit still. Sit still. Look at that. Oh, this one's so pretty. He barely hooked. Oh no, you got him right in the lip. Good job. And didn't you see on the other one I caught? Yep. The pattern difference. Uh, Lexi's second peacock bass. Look at the belly, look at the yeah. spots. Uh, all the colors. Look at that. Beautiful. Hello! You wanna hold them or let them go? Uh, hold them. You wanna hold them? Yeah. All right. All right, get them back in the water. All right, dude. We want a bigger one, though. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Hi. High five. Okay. We stopped to get a little bite to eat. I've got these tomatoes, and even though I like tomatoes, there are some carp sitting back there, right in the water back there. I don't know if you can see them, but there's some big carp. Oh, that's scary. Woo, let's zoom that out. Oh, the other way. Oh, there we go. Fix my hair. All right, so I don't know if the carp will eat tomatoes, but they are bright red, and they might just go for them the second they hit the water. So I'm gonna try and catch a carp with a tomato. All right, so yes, my lunch was delicious. How was your lunch? Good. Good. But I've got this, what is it, a cherry tomato? Yeah. And I'm gonna try and throw a cherry tomato to a carp. You ready? Yeah. All right, here, take the camera. Okay, so I'm just gonna hook the tomato in just like that and we're gonna toss it out here. All right, stand behind me. Okay. Let's go. Toss also, it it's in. raining. Okay, so it's a no-go on the tomatoes. But what I have used are little cranberries. And the cranberries seem to work pretty good. But that's usually when they're piled up underneath a tree where there's berries falling. All right, we're gonna chum it up with some bread and uh, we'll be right back. All right, we got a piece of bread on. You ready? Yeah. All right, we're just gonna walk up to right over here. Okay. All right, so we're using uh, Florida Fishing Products, Osprey 1000, and then I'm on a star rod, it's an ultra light. So uh, the fight is gonna feel like a massive fish. <gasps> oh, Ooh. he missed it. Come on, come back for it. Keep it coming. Remember, set, pull back, and hold it. Ooh, nice, there it is. There it is, stay tight, stay tight. Good job. Reel, reel down lower, reel down lower, 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 now lift up. There you go. Ooh. That's a big one. Don't pull too hard, don't pull too hard. I'm gonna have to get the net. He's gonna have to run a little bit though. Let him down a little bit. See if he runs. 
There it goes. I knew it was gonna have another one in them. Remember, stand up, pull up. There you go. Nice. And reel down and pull it up again. That is a big old canal donkey. How's he feel? Good. Good? Where'd he go? There he is. Nice fish. Now I'm gonna to try and net him. Look at that. 30 inch fish. Let's try and land this thing. Let me grab the net. Oh. Yeah. Pull him up towards the net. Oh, sorry. Right. Right there. Pull him towards the net. Okay. There we go. Keep horsing them. Bring him this way. Not ready, see? He had some energy left in him. What we're gonna do is just work him down to the left. Okay. Okay? Because I can't quite reach right here. So I'm gonna work him all the way down where it's lower. Okay. Walking the dog. Get him over here and trying to slide him right into the neck. Oh, he missed. <laughs> all right, bring him back, bring him back. Ooh, pull and drag. Stand up straight. There you go. All right, work him back. Work him back. Let's see. Try it again. Oh, he missed. He's seeing the net at the last second. It's all good. Heavy, huh? Yeah. All right, walk this way a little more. All right, pull him towards here. Lift, lift, lift. Oh, here, uh, here, pull him again, one more time. Got him, I think. Got him. All right, good All job. Right. Just put him in the grass gently right here. Whew. Let's get this hook out first. Okay. Oh, nope, oh. no! In the water. Well, that was that. Unhooked the carp, he slid right down the hill into the water. After a, a long fight, we landed this carp, I reached down, got him in the big net, brought him up on the land, and as I was handing Lexi the camera and trading the camera for the rod so we could put the rod down, it took a giant flop, and what happened? It rolled down the hill back into the water. It did a little, you know, slide into the water, but you know, we still, you still got to enjoy the fight. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, it was a pretty long fight. I mean, I thought he was already pretty much done when we landed him, but, you know, I was wrong. He still had more energy and flop, flop, drip, drop. Blip, blop. Raindrop. <laughs> drop top. <laughs> Just kidding. For today's trivia question, I'm not, I don't have anything to give away, but keep playing because I do have giveaways coming. I've just got to get them in the mail. Um, but today's trivia question will be for a shout out on our next video. And Lexi, what's trivia question number one? How many peacock bass did we catch in total? And trivia question number two is? What bait did we, what, what bait, bleh, what bait did we use that did not work for the carp? All right, so trivia question number one, how many peacock bass did we catch? And trivia question number two, what bait did I use that did not work for the carp? Guys, comment your answers below, and uh, you have a chance to be shouted out in our next video. Uh, as usual, make sure you subscribe and smash that notification bell. Yeah. I slay with a passion. They say I be swagging. They slay in the fashion. Feel like King Arthur. I just slay the dragon. My jig on the bottom. I ain't even snagging. Slay like a savage. from slicking the best.